Hi, welcome back again to Pilates by Tanya. All right, this next abdominal challenge and abdominal series is a bent knee roll-up series. All right, so again, we're adding some toys. You got the ring if you like. You got some weights if you like. Remember, no more than one, two, or three pounds. Otherwise, you're gonna put strain in the wrong parts of your body. And we don't wanna strain the neck. We wanna put the strain into the abdominal core area. All right, if you don't have toys, no big deal. In fact, if you're a beginner, I don't recommend that you use the toys. You place the toys into the equation when you're getting stronger and when you need more of a challenge, all right? So always listen to your body, wean into any exercise. Remember, you can add this to your exercises. Say you take your 10, 20 minute walk, nice brisk walk, and then you come home and you can do one of these core challenges to complete your workout, all right? So for this one, we're gonna start again, laying on our back. Puppy dog first. All right, so you can or cannot use your toys, up to you. If you're using your ring, it's gonna go between the knees. This is gonna make it not only challenging for those inner thighs, but much more challenging for the lower abs. So it definitely challenges you to work a lot harder. More challenging in any of these bent knee roll-ups. If your feet are closer to your bottom, it's more challenging. Less challenging, you walk your feet farther away from the body. So again, if you need momentum, you're gonna use momentum. As you get stronger, you're gonna take out the momentum and you're gonna be able to use control, all right? So what we're trying to do is peel off of our mat. If you need that momentum, again, use the momentum. Know the difference between, wow, that's hard, and oh, that hurts, okay? So start on your back, arms down by your sides. You're gonna take a deep breath in. Begin your exhale, begin your roll up. Lift the head, remember if you can, you're trying to peel off of the mat. I like to reach up and lengthen the spine, shoulders down, nice, long spine. And then pull your belly button in, round the spine, and take it back down, inhale. Exhale, roll it up, reach to the ceiling or the sky, wherever you are, and then scoop and take it back down. Inhale, exhale, roll it up, lift and lengthen, shoulders down, round and scoop. Practice control if you can. Inhale, exhale, roll it up. Lengthen that spine and then round the spine and take it down. All right, the next part of this, we're going to add a twist. So we're going to now take it into a half roll. So you're going to only lift up into a diagonal line with your spine. Inhale, exhale, roll it up. You're going to stop halfway. You're going to lift the chest and pull the shoulders back and find length in your spine. From here, if you can, you're going to lift your right leg. If not, you keep it right where it is. Twist to the right, back to the center. Take the foot down. If you can, you lift the left leg. Twist to the left, back to the center. Take it down, and then roll it back down. Inhale, exhale, roll it up. Stop halfway, lift the chest, pull the shoulders back. This time you lift the left leg. You twist to the left, back to the center. Take it down. Right leg up if you like. Twist to the right. Back to the center. Take it down. And then scoop. You can stay right there with those feet if you like. Or more challenging, you pick the feet up into tabletop with or without your ring. Inhale. Exhale. Roll it up. Lift the chest. Pull the shoulders back. Twist to the right. Strain your lower back, go back to that 
bent knee. Inhale. Exhale if you can. Roll it up and lift. Twist to the right. And then twist to the left. Round the spine and take it down. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, roll it up. Yes. 